As a mobile phone technician, if you don't understand this CQ, that means that you still have a lot to learn. I mean, you have a lot to learn. So what is this right here? This is the boot up process of a mobile phone. It's not a completely boot up process, but this is the most important part of your mobile phone when it's booting up. So what do we have here? I'm going to give you an explanation. This diagram right here is from my professional level course, but I'm going to give you a glimpse on what the course is about and the things that you're gonna learn because this circuit right here is very important when it comes to troubleshooting, like a deep troubleshooting, uh, that mobile phone, a uh, phone hanging on bootloop or all that stuff. So what exactly is happening right here? We have three components right here, which are the main components that your phone needs to boot up. So what do we have here? We have the power manager IC, we have the CPU, and we have the EMMC. Let me come closer. I don't know if you are seeing that clearly. So when you press the power key, there is what we call trigger. And that trigger is when the power IC triggers send the voltages, the signals that the both the hard disk and the EMMC needs. So what happens is that when you press the power key, the power IC is supposed to send a VREG voltage, either it's a 3 volt or 3.3 volt, depending on the device, to the hard disk. And this 3 volt is the hard disk voltage, the main hard disk voltage. It's going to send another voltage, which is 1.8. So these are the main voltages that the EMMC, the hard disk of your phone needs, right? Okay, so after sending this voltage, it's going to send also a lot of VREGs, which are the V power voltage, the... the the voltage is that the core processors of your CPU needs is going to send a V modem voltage, it's going to send a VGPU, which is a very important, which are very important GPUs when it comes to the graphics of your mobile phone. So these VGPUs have been sent to the part of the CPU that processes the graphic that you see on your mobile phone screen, right? So the important part, the clock signal, the reset signal. So you can see that the arrows are pointing this way, except this one that is pointing this way. We are going to explain what this PS, which is a whole signal, is. So after sending the VREG voltage, sending a, a clock signal and a reset signal to the CPU, the CPU is going to send a reset signal and a clock signal to the, uh, to the EMMC. And when it does that, it's going to start reading the phone boot information through the RX and the TX. When the CPU notices that if everything is okay, the CPU is going to send a PS hold signal to the power manager IC to hold the output voltages that it needs. So when you are working on a power problem in a mobile phone, you see those type of power problems on mobile phones that you press the power key, it shows trigger in a DC power supply. When you leave it, the, the, the current consumption drops back to zero. That happens because the CPU do not get enough information to send a whole signal to the power manager IC to hold that trigger. Okay, so like I said, this is from my professional level course. In case you want to learn all this and how to troubleshoot, because I actually show how to troubleshoot, find these lines in a mobile PCB and test all of them one by one when you are troubleshooting. If you want to learn all this, that's my number right there. You can send me a message on WhatsApp to get my course. So check my bell in case you are watching this on tiktok or check my video description down there in case you are watching this on youtube so follow subscribe for more amazing videos and don't forget to get my course if in case you want to learn